is up, YouTube? It's Twin here, and you're watching the sunset of RuneScape Classic. Hey guys, welcome to the fifth episode of the sunset of RuneScape Classic. In the last episode, we finished the first phase of the series, which was earning at least level 10 in every skill in RuneScape Classic, and I wanted to do this in order to reacquaint myself with each of the skills and exactly how they work in this version of the game. And so today we start the second, more difficult phase of the series, in which we'll be earning all of the levels required for the Legendscape. And that means earning all of the necessary levels to complete every quest in the game. But before we get started, I'd like to shout out an outstanding member of the RuneScape Classic community. Lita has been hosting an event in RuneScape Classic on the first Saturday of every month for a long time now, so I just wanted to shout out the last three events she'll be hosting in the dying months of the game. Get involved with the community by joining Alita and others in a Lava Maze event this Saturday, June the 2nd. The crew will be meeting up at the Edgeville Bank on World 2, and will travel together north towards the Lava Maze, so bring your muddy keys or just tag along for some fun. There also may or may not be a pre-event collecting muddy keys from Chaos Dwarves. Pay attention to the monthly event thread in the RuneScape Classic community forum for more on that. Also, take note that this event will be happening inside the wilderness, so don't bring any items that you aren't willing to lose. Again, this event will be happening this Saturday, June the 2nd at 12 o'clock noon Pacific Standard Time, 3 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 8 o'clock p.m. Greenwich Mean Time, and at 6 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. It's going to be a lot of fun, so I hope to see you guys there. Alright, let's get back to talking about Phase 2. Before we start going through all of the quests in RuneScape Classic, we're going to earn all the levels required to complete every quest in the game. That being said, there are 18 skills in RuneScape Classic, of which 16 have requirements for the Legendscape. These requirements are 50 Agility, 20 Attack, 53 Cooking, 50 Crafting, 30 Fire Making, 53 Fishing, 10 Fletching, 45 Herb Law, 60 Magic, 52 Mining, 42 Prayer, 35 Ranged, 50 Smithing, 50 Strength, 50 Thieving, and 50 Woodcutting. Now, I already have 10 Fletching, so that requirement's done. And, although I'll have to train my attack much higher to deal with the King Black Dragon, my attack is above the requirement of level 20, so as far as Phase 2 is concerned, that requirement is done as well. Now that list of skills is a pretty tall order, but thankfully we still have 69 days to go and Mama didn't raise no quitters, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with one of the tougher skills in the list. Getting 45 Herb Law is going to be pretty tough, because, as you've already seen, gathering the herbs and ingredients required for Herb Law is a very slow and grindy process. However, all of this preparation is going to be great for our combat skills, and so I think I'm going to start off my Phase 2 skilling in that direction. After I finished recording the last episode, I realized that I hadn't finished using all the ingredients we collected, so I continued making the Cure Poison Potions, and I actually hit 13 Herb Law. At level 11, you can identify a new herb, Terramin, and at level 12, you can use Terramin and Limport Root to create a new potion, the Strength Potion. So I'm standing here in the courtyard of Varrock. I'm going to head to the west over to the Varrock West Bank, and we're going to see if any of my stacks of unidentified herbs are actually a stack of Terramin that we can now use. So I just, um, I just withdrew the biggest stack of herbs that I had, and it turned out to be Terramin. So it looks like I have, what, like 17 Terramin to use, and I just hit Herb Law level 14 by uh, identifying all of those herbs. So yeah, that's some, uh, that's some good news. The first thing I'm going to do is take the trip west to Taverly to get some vials and get the Terramin that we do have put into unfinished Terramin potions. And then we will start the process once again of farming herbs from Chaos Druids and uh, try to build up a sizable little stack of unfinished potions to work with. So I've made it to Taverly, and I'm going to head around the corner and over to Jadix's Herblaw shop. Where we're going to buy some vials for the Terramin that we do have. And I get the feeling that me and Jadix are going to be best friends in the near future as we try to pump out 45 Herblaw. We're going to be needing quite a few vials, so I'm actually going to buy as many vials as I can. Jadix? Buddy, are you outside your shop? I guess he is. Here comes another player. Ooh, combat level 123. He's got the Dragon Helm and the Dragon Battle Axe. That's pretty cool. Uh, but we're going to chat with Jadix. We're going to see what he's selling. And we're going to buy as many vials from him as we can carry. You can't hold the objects. You're... Yeah, of course. So let's buy as many as we can. Twenty-five. 
23 slots is how many we have. Awesome, we got 23 vials. We're gonna head back out of Taverly towards the bank. No, actually, I think I might just do a few of these vial runs in a row. Um, instead of just grabbing these 23, I think I might go ahead and uh, go back and forth between the Falador Bank and Taverly and just load up on some vials because we're gonna be needing them in the near future. So I guess I will, uh, I guess I'll do that until I have, you know, 200, 300 vials or so. So guys, I have not only acquired 300 vials, I have also filled 300 and 19 vials with water. So yeah, that is done. Next thing that I want to do is begin to collect herbs again. And I, I'm not going to collect 300. I, I think we'll break it into three different batches. We will collect 300. Well, we will collect 100 herbs and then make 100 potions out of those. We'll collect 100 more and so on until we hit our desired goal of level 45 herb law. So let's suit up. We will also need... What else do we need? We'll go ahead and bring some money just because we're going to pick up coins anyways in case we need to buy anything along the way. Let's go ahead and take out... Let's do 50k. Why not? And uh, we also want our sleeping bag for sure. And we have air runes. We are out of mind runes, I believe. So actually, before we head down... Uh, before we head back to the Taverly Dungeon, we're going to go pick up some Mind Runes from Port Serum, and I will even show you where that is. I don't know if I showed that in a previous episode. I don't think I did. So yeah, we're going to head over to Port Serum, and I'm going to show you guys the, uh, the little rune shop where we're going to buy Mind Runes. We have 73 Air Runes. They only sell, like, 30 Mind Runes at a time, so I'll normally sit there and wait, um... They oh crap! I'm walking towards the towards the White Knight's castle. Um, there, the regeneration time for the shopkeeper with mind runes is a lot faster than the regeneration time for the shopkeeper with vials. Um, Jadix and his vials they regenerate so slowly that uh, I can I can I can go from the Taverly. Uh, well, I can go from J Jadix's shop in Taverly to the Falador Bank and back. And he'll have only replenished like half of his stock. This uh, this rune shop replenishes mind runes fairly quickly. So yeah, we'll just hang out and get like I don't know, like a hundred mind runes or something like that. All right, so I am entering Port Serum from the uh, entering Port Serum from the north, and I'm gonna head here into I believe it's Betty. Yeah, Betty's magic shop. Welcome to the Magic Emporium. Can I see your wares? And we're gonna buy some Mind Runes. Let's see. Mind Rune, yes. Buy Mind Rune, let's buy 30. All right, I'm just gonna hang out for a moment while the uh, rune stock replenishes and then uh, head out once I have what I want. I am leaving Port Serum with 106 Mind Runes in hand. And we're going to head back to Taverly, back over to the Taverly Dungeon. And we're going to go kill some Chaos Druids and collect as many herbs as possible, as fast as possible. Here we are, back in Taverly. Heading down into the dungeon. And as always, we're going to run... Oh, that guy. As always, we're going to run uh, past the skeletons. the guy we saw earlier he is definitely not a bot he actually responded to me and yeah we're gonna skip past these guys and head down the hallway past the ghosts as well and make our way over to the chaos druids where we are going to be camping for the foreseeable future collecting as many herbs as possible and then using those herbs to make potions and then coming back and collecting more and more herbs. So guys, here we are at the Chaos Druids getting stacks and stacks of herbs very quickly. Let's go ahead and take these as fast as we can. And uh, yeah, we've already found a Marantil. Um, the first one actually was too high to identify, but uh, yeah, we're getting, getting herb drops fairly quickly right now, which is just awesome. Let's see, there's another one. Yeah, two herbs on the ground, perfect. And so, uh, 
these guys are aggressive, so sometimes I don't have enough time to pick up the herbs between rounds. So what I'll do is I'll wait for three rounds and watch this. I'll click off and then I'll wait. Click off and then I'll take the herb. Take an herb. I got one of them. But yeah, so I have like a little moment between combat before he initiates again. We'll try it again. Like watch this. Boom, and take the herb and then fight. Yeah, so then we got the herb, which is pretty awesome. Another handy trick is using wind strike to uh, pull aggro on one of the druids towards you so that I can stay in the corner and not have to move. And uh, staying away from the wall allows me to avoid combat with ghosts. And also, um, sometimes the druids won't spawn in this corner. They'll spawn in the middle and over there. So uh, I can have just like a little moment to breathe between rounds to uh, pick things up off the ground that I haven't been able to pick up or to identify herbs and that kind of thing. Well guys, I'm going to be stuck in this dungeon for quite a while, so that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the show, let me know down in the comments below. Be sure to hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss another video from Twin River Gaming. The next episode will keep grinding towards 45 Herblaw and towards the Legends Cape. I'll see you in the next video.